What up, this is John Shibor, IBS Kelso coming back with another MX Bikes Banger. Now, before you adjust your phone brightness or change your monitor settings, yes, I am black and I'm playing a dirt bike game. Now, this is take two, all right? And I'll explain why it's take two, but this is episode eight of Road to Top 100 ranked, all right? We were on the force, Husqvarna 250. Go and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we're gonna get right into it. It's the calm within the chaos and head over to strikehardapparel.com and grab some of these great graphic design t-shirts and hoodies and accessories. I just partnered up with them, so go ahead and use code KELSO at checkout for 5% off, and I hope to see you rock some of this merch, man. Peace. But the reason why this is take two is I actually got on about an hour ago or 30 minutes or so and we were on Washington and I actually was ready to do it as a wet track crazy and you guys will see it in a short form. But uh, yeah, literally took off, got hit, got stuck in a fence, went to reset and got stuck in another fence. Couldn't couldn't leave. I had to go to I had to go to pit. It was wild. But yeah, let's go ahead and get ready, dude. It was absolutely different. See, can we get the whole shot in here, man? I ran a 106 in here and I was up like almost three seconds on anybody so i don't know if there's anybody really fast we are playing at 11 47 in the morning on labor day happy labor day to anybody that celebrates but yeah crazy times man so we got some forest greatness for you hope you guys have been enjoying it also we are like 40 subs off from a thousand dude thousand subs man you guys are amazing for that thank you guys for the support but yeah, we're just gonna keep cranking out these videos, shorts, streams, man. Thank you to everybody that's been coming through the streams. Thank you for the likes on the streams, man. It, it just shows that you guys actually enjoy my content or enjoy chilling with me. And we've been keeping like a steady flow of like five plus people in there. So glad everybody that comes, hangs out, comes plays Papiti with me at nighttime, man. We'd be drinking a little bit of Corona, Modelo's, man. We just be chilling, man. Nice little drinking vibes. Everybody's in, joining, you know, chilling. But on top of that, um i was told to try to test out the factory bikes more um kind of like going those for pd servers so let me know down in the comment sections if comment section if you would want to see like me still work work on the road to top 100 but try the uh factory bike uh edition so i don't know I, I think it'd be fun i think i'd definitely try it the only thing that i hate is that there's literally only one bike in there so it's like almost everybody's in the same playing field to where almost like I don't know how to explain it. It's almost like, you know, everybody's using the exact same bike, same power and all that. It's going to just be determining on who's better at the game at that point. So at least here, everybody's putting their bike of choice and you can choose their own power. So I don't know. It may be different. I may be telling a lie. I may not know too much information on it, but let me know down in the comment section. Is that something you would want to see? Um, but I've been having fun with just the OEM in general. Um, it's not that I hate the factory bikes or anything. Oh, uh, shit. Oh, Hey, hey, but yeah, um, but as we move in kind of already like got six seconds on everybody Um, I don't know man. Just my papiti grind has been kind of funny at times dude Like I'll literally be up like 300 and then I'll start streaming and get a little drink drinks in me And we'll have to play Winchester or we'll play some odd map going on in the rotation And I'll literally just get ganked off the start. So like it's a it's a win lose type of situation in papiti right now especially when you got the 450 riders coming out then you kind of like realize if they got the consistency you're you're not cooking you're not cooking any type of meat on the grill with those boys that have consistency so you're not looking for first place but as always my goal is never first place it's always you know trying to get podium trying to either maintain a podium or <clears throat> get points through a top 10 so but i realized that as as I go up in points, you know, top 10 is not going to cut it. Hell, not even top four. You know what I mean? I got to be in third, second or first to get points. So um, I probably will never still make the switch. I think I'm just going to have to say that I can make it to top 100 only on a 250. But I know you're crazy people out there that join with a 450 and are nuts. But I mean, for now, I'm proving the point that this bike can get her done. Man, the Husqvarna is that freaking bike. So, yeah, I don't know. Beyond that, um, easy cookie cutter kind of race right now. I thought I'd just, you know, keep going out with the episodes. Um, I do apologize. This is like not boring, but at least you guys get to see my progress and see me ride. I mean, a lot of people enjoy seeing me ride the Husqvarna just to see like my progression. I am almost at 400 hours as well. Um, but yeah, this is like the epitome of like, I like to save the more competitive like competitive kind of uh racing for the nighttime which is like when i stream because then it's like more of a better like 
it's more enjoyment when you're streaming, you know, you get more out of me during that time. I'd rather make a video here, talk to you, kind of update you what's going on and just thank you guys for the support and kind of just show you my grind of like, I guess my day people <laughs> out here passing these guys. But I'm not saying nobody in the daytime racing is fast. Like that's not at all. Like literally pegs from the last freaking video episode seven was a demon he was able to freaking conquer me so i guess it's just i guess it's just like time and place also that was a weekend thing so this is like monday i mean i think almost every kid or school should be off today right so i don't know just i guess it just all depends on if people are barbecuing or on but as we come up on our last lap 15 seconds past the first next person yo thank you sir i appreciate that that is a w freaking lapper thank you so much give you that a little wave again man you guys man that right there is like the blue flag situation dude right there if you guys have not understand what flags are and you're being passed like that right there is a w man you you literally get so much respect for moving out of the way for people because you don't want to mess up anybody's race up and i don't want to mess your race up because at the end of the day you are racing as well and you're trying to better your own craft you know so you know just move out of the way real quick take the outer line the less faster line for just like a little literally a split second so i can pass by and you're right back on the groove but yeah man that's all i can say on that one shout out to esr mtn um new new gear skins new uh bike models are coming out should be fun excited to rock that shout out to weto racing i am rocking their gear right now um a lot of controversy has come up to where it's like are, am i racing for their team man like here's the thing they literally are giving me free gear to rock to shout them out and to help people to join their discord and you know make them build make them grow as a community as well like if anybody's out there that wants me to help rock their gear so they can get some clout dude i'm all for it man that's that's literally what it's all about you know help me i help you scratch my back i'm gonna scratch yours you know like we all out here to win and grow you know there's no reason of decimating and being lower we want this community to be bigger but yeah, I'm kind of just talking now. Like, I feel like I went on a rant. <laughs> but, yeah, this is episode eight, man. I thank you guys so much. Man, I ran a 107. I probably could have done a 106. I was concentrating a little bit more. But thank you guys so much for um, watching the video. I'm going to catch you guys in the absolute next one. It's your boy, IBS Kelso. Pup, pup. Yo, shout out to O&Bs. Peace. <laughs>